Hello everyone, welcome to the part 5 of this tutorial. Uh, and in this section, we're going to be I'm going to be rounding up uh, everything because I've been able to show you from part 1 to 4 how this was model. So in the remaining part of it, I'm going to be showing you how I did it. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this part. So it won't be difficult for you also in moving on in uh, getting up to this point. And if you have any question, I mean concerning anything I'm going to be explaining now, you just let me know in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe. So now, where we stopped the last time was making our cut here. Yeah. So that was where we stopped. So now I'm going to be explaining how we are going to be achieving this in our one so let me i'm going to be hiding this now so let me hide this okay let me hide this or better still okay and yes let me just hide that so the next thing what i'm going to be explaining now here is this so this is just a cylinder so this is a cylinder that I have to I have to just give it some shape. So let me bring this out just for you to see how it is. So I'm I'm gonna be bringing this out. Obviously this. So this is this is just a cylinder of which I'm able to do some insets with I me with i you you able to make the insert then making an extrude then insert extrude insert how you able to make this so the next thing again i was able to make after that then i copied this face so yeah, let me just give you a sample of what i'm trying to talk about so i was able to I was able to copy the face like uh, let me just say shift D in the X now shift D in the X then what I did was that and then I added a loop cut a circular loop cut so many of them circular loop cut to them then the next thing I did now was to uh, make sure Is to make sure I, I am going on uh, my my proportional editing now, so I'm going to set it to sharp, sharp. Then setting it to sharp, then I can now try to make a sort of a uh, rotation. So I will try my best to make sure my cursor is at the center. Then Shift S cursor to selected. Hope you understand now. So that will be at the center. Then I can now rotate. Then before I do the rotation, I will make sure I set uh, my pivot point to 3D cursor. Hope you understand now. Then I can now say control. Uh, I mean R in the on what direction now? That will be an X. Then I will roll in the middle mouse button. I mean make the uh, the make it bigger obviously now so it's too much now so that is just the simple way I, I, I was able to make the rotation so it's gonna give me the shape of a fan like it depends on how you want to rotate it now so that's that's up to you my system is hanging for now okay now let me just stop here okay hope you can see the way this thing has formed now so that's just a simple way i've been able to do do that then even before that, now before i delete that then for you to make that uh the the slope then i'm going to be picking each of these then leaving one at the middle 
So I'm going to be leaving one at the middle, picking others, leaving one at the middle, picking others, leaving at the middle. Then G in the X. Then I will just drag. Okay, make sure you off. You are out of proportion editing. Let's off that. Then G in the X. Then G in the X. Obviously. Then if I, you will just make sure you do uh, do that to everything. Then the next thing you're going to do is just to make sure you bevel bevel those edges then i won't lie to you you are going to arrive at that same point hope you understand now so let me delete this i'm not needing that just using that to explain so that's how i'm able to get to this point so now look at the fan now so that's how i'm able to achieve uh that fan so also let me let me bug this i think i've made some unnecessary adjustments that okay so now about this also now these ones are just additional part that I'm able to add to it. Remember, you remember the way we added this at the top part and the way we added the handle. So the same way you are going to be adding this. So this is just a cylinder also. So a, an holo cylinder. Obviously then, it just this is the so just an holo cylinder separately. Then the other ones you're able to see beside that, they are just. Uh, they are just additional part also so i'm able to make one then revolve uh, make a sort of array around so this is just a, a a cube that i'm able to uh just bevel to some shapes so now let's look at this also so looking at this so it depends on you now how the kind of design that you yourself you might want so that's up to you so now let's look at the top part here so when we look at this this is also a cylinder i mean a cube now that was able to just shape uh, bring down up to this shape hope you understand now so as everything like that so that's how everything is being made so also looking at this it's also a different part on its own so i made this with cube g in the z let me bring it up so obviously that so it's a separate part. So I made that with cube also. Obviously that. So now concerning where also also area some areas that might look complicated. Like let me let me show some part now. Some part that might look complicated like here. Yeah, there's nothing complicated about that. This is just this is a different part of which I'm just me separately. Obviously, I only make use of this to cover that. So I make the cut in here. Obviously that. So I made the cut in here. So after making the cut, just the same way I'm able to make the circular cut or uh, uh, to create this. So the same thing, making use of shin crab. Even this time, I don't, I didn't make use of shin crab because I, I just have to add some loop cuts just to get the shape that I need. Then I just click on those part, then I delete it away, then extrude inside. Then I was able to copy uh, the face, then add the loop cuts, and then I, uh, bring in, I bring in and bring out. I mean, just drop draw some uh lines it, just make sure you leave some in between then draw them up then you're able to get this uh shape then you just place it carefully in there so now let's look at this and here yeah, i mean this that looks like pipe three pipes so they have made this with cylinder which is obvious now looking at this cup uh cuff part so you can easily make use of spin so with spinning, I was able to achieve that. So with spinning, I was able to make sure uh, get that curve, that I need. 
so there's no big deal about this also now let's look at everything is just a model of detail so if you look at this also the oz so i make sure i create a o then i you make use of shin crap then i apply it to it then i was able to make that chord so if you have any question about other things maybe you want me to break down also some part of it i'm also available you just give me a comment let me know what you really need in the comment section now also let's look at this this is also uh careful made shapes like just now let's look at this now just carefully make them and then i align them i just apply them inside there so that's how i did for this one so so making theory then remember i'm on mirror so anything i do in this i will be reflecting on the other side so that's so that's that so if you are, uh, also this wants to they are just let me just tell you that i copy this then i bring it and scale it down bring it at the top here so now concerning these holes to for the boat so i make it of the shink wrap also so we we'll shink wrap then extrude inside so i was able to make whatever cut you're able to see here so with the help of shink wrap that will help you so if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and please do your best to subscribe so i believe i'm able to put it through on how you can go about making a sapphire gun and even not a sapphire gun alone this time around uh if i bought also helping you to be able to think through on how you can model whatever sci-fi material you might want to make so please i uh, will be grateful if you can subscribe so that will encourage me more to do more so thank you very much